so happy to <laughs> spend time with you. So am I. I'm so excited for this and thank you so much for having us here. You are welcome. So tell me your goal in my going goal. through this. Yes, my goal is one to do with focus and attention because I find I find it difficult to my mind is can be very creative but structure and um, attention to the to structuring my mind is very I find extremely difficult so that's number one number two it would be really interesting for me to know my I was my memory in certain parts of my childhood and when I say childhood I mean even up to like 15 sometimes 16 I feel like I have such a lack of memory from so many things in my life like my mum will be like remember that holiday we went on this would be maybe when I'm 14 or 15 and I have I remember we went, I have no recollection of so much of that vac that holiday or that vacation. Um, names of people, even in present day, I find if Jay will tell me their name a thousand times and it won't stay in my mind. So I think it's a, it will be useful for me to know whether that's just my lack of presence or whether that is something to do with my mental capacity and, and you know be, that being able to get better. And then also numbers, <laughs> finding it difficult with numbers sticking in my mind too. Um, and so I think it's, yeah, it's retention, attention, <laughs> focus, and memory. <laughs> Basically my whole brain. <laughs> Interesting. What was it like in your family growing um, up? actually really pleasant like I, I had a really wonderful unit my mum and dad I mean I have such I have such a great support system at home I always have they've no matter whether I got terrible grades which I did very often or I um, messed up in some way they were just always so loving and so supportive and we had you know we were that family where if you were in your room by yourself and everybody was at home it would be odd like everybody spent so much time together growing up i always remember this but like my dad is the type of person who on my birthday every year would take a day off and we'd go like strawberry picking as a family together on my birthday like it was a really yeah i felt extremely supported extremely loved extremely cared for um never felt like they weren't there for me never felt like i we weren't like crazy wealthy, but I never felt like I never had everything I needed in terms of contentment. I felt I felt very content when I was young. I was I was the child who wouldn't finish her coursework on time, and then the night before, my sister, my mum, and my dad would all be up helping me finish it and write it. And that was probably happened way too often. I work best under pressure, and I think that's now I know, now I do that because. I've noticed that I can perform better in the past from that. So from my dissertation that I did in my college, I had months to do it. And I did it all within, I don't even know, but a very short period of time. And the results I got near the end of my um, academic life was a lot better when I did it under pressure. Whereas before I would, I would notice I would study for weeks and months and I'd get to the exam and I'd get a D and I'd be like, well, what was, it, what was the point of me working for months and weeks? And so I started just learning that my mind seemed to react to pressure and stressful situations better in performance than I did trying to strategize it along the way. When I was younger, I'd say I was the one that distracted my friends, distracted my friends in class. So I'd be like trying to make jokes. Um, I remember as much as I'd love to be teacher's pet, at the same time, I would usually be teacher's pet from being cheeky rather than actually being someone who got good grades. <laughs> so I was more like, all my teachers loved me, but more so because of like my, my, how much I was, how nice I was to them rather than it being to do with me actually being a good student. <laughs> Yeah. So Howard Gardner, um, I think he was from Harvard, talks about multiple intelligences. Mm. That there's one kind of intelligence where 
get good grades. Yeah. You can do it academically. But there's another kind of intelligent where you can be brilliant relationally. And so it sounds like you had that one. So if you're getting people to protect you. <laughs> At least I have you. one. So time can be a struggle. Time can be a struggle for sure for me. And I think that also then by the end of the day, it probably makes me not feel as great about what I've done because then I'm constantly like, oh, I didn't actually do what I had set out to do. And so instead of feeling like, yay, at the end of the day, I'm like, oh, instead of feeling happy with what I have actually done, if that makes sense. You ever think you have ADD? Um, no, I, I can't, when I need okay, to- Because I actually tested you I know, for yeah, it. I know, I was- And you did fine on the oh, good. test. You did fine on the test. Um, I will, my mind will definitely hop from one thing to another to another. And I'll be like, oh wait, what did you ask me again? And so I find my mind definitely connects weird dots. And Jay, because I spend the most amount of time with him, he's the person that can, uh, relate to what I'm saying where he'll, we'll talk about something and someone will be like how did your brain even get there like how did you even connect that to what we're talking about so I, I can I definitely see my mind jumping a lot from from things whether it's in my thoughts or even when I'm when I'm speaking and how's your attention span well, it depends if I'm having like a day where I feel quite anxious, because if I'm feeling quite anxious about what I'm doing, then I'd say it's not great because I'll be like, oh, I need to clean the fridge now for some reason. <laughs> and I don't. And so I'll distract myself from doing what I actually need to be doing just because I'd say that's probably more more like fear, not fear, but yeah, my anxiety builds something up to be quite big when it's not actually that big. And then Jay breaks it down for me and I'm like, oh yeah, that's really what I have to do. But if I don't have that, then I will probably try and distract myself or my mind will distract my, distract me and make me believe that the other thing is probably more important to do. Um, but when I need to get things done, like if there's a deadline, which again, I'm still doing. So with stress, yes, you do better. <laughs> But that means you always have to be stressed. Yeah, and I think, see, it goes two ways. I feel like when, when there's a deadline, I can get things done and focus and I will figure out a way to break it down. But sometimes when I'm feeling anxious, and I don't know whether the two are different, but when I'm anxious and my mind is overactive about one thing, it then becomes overactive about, kind of like seeps into other areas. to prevent or treat the 11 major risk factors that steal your mind. And so I have a mnemonic I like called Bright Minds. Love it. And B is for blood flow. Retirement and aging, you guys don't have to worry about that. I is inflammation. Um, and how's your sleep? We didn't talk much about sleep. My genuine, I sleep really, really well. And it's the only thing that disturbs me is actual sounds of animals scurrying around outside. And, and a generator like, near, our, <laughs> yeah. near our head. But um, yeah. I sleep like a yeah, you sleep like a lot. I anyway. go sleep by yeah. 9.30 and I'm knocked out. Yeah, um, the supplements will help. Yeah, I need Retirement that. and aging, new learning, you both do that. We That's love that. That's like lives. a big part of our life right now. Um, the omega-3, anybody who's vegan, this is a big issue. Okay. Right. Um, is I want to make sure we get that level mm -hmm. to a healthy level. Mm -hmm. The rest of your health will, will be better. <laughs> okay. And so if you want to keep your brain healthy, and neither of your brains is headed to a dark place. Mm -hmm. Both of you have healthy brains. We just want to tune them a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, avoid toxins. Do you know the app Think Dirty? No. Nah. No. You should download it. Okay. okay, cool. Because it lets you scan your personal products and it'll tell you on a scale of one to 10 how quickly they're killed. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Because things like parabens and phthalates. They don't buy anything with parabens yeah. or sulfates or yeah. any of those. But tools. if you get this app, You'll... you still probably yeah, throw bet. out I half bet. your bathroom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It costs me initially with my wife. <laughs> you only want to put something on mm. your body that, that serves you. Yes. And the yeah. pandemic was just a disaster wow. with all the things we put on our hands wow. and the disinfectant that was loaded with crap. I mean, that's sort of the plan. That's fantastic. Thank it sounds so great. Yeah. Thank, thank you. So thank you, Dr. Raymond. This was um, brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.